Hello and welcome to Clan TV. I'm Matt Haywood, filling in for Jerry, who's on his honeymoon. So congratulations, fella. I hope I don't mess this up too bad. The Clan returning top of the league tonight after a 4-2 gritty victory in 5-5 Serena. The Dundee Stars looking for a repeat of their last out in here with a win on penalty shots. Hopefully the Brea Clan can make this four out of six points this weekend. Over to Matt in the commentary booth. Thanks, Matt. Uh, pleasure to be here. And can I say, one of the best introductions I've seen to this Clan TV. Happy New Year. Welcome to Clan TV. Bray Clan taking on Dundee Stars. This is, of course, Craig Anderson. And the match gets underway. Dundee Stars first footing Greyhead Clan here in 2015. Hopefully the clan can continue where they left off in Fife last night with a 4-2 win in Kirkcaldy against Todd Dutiam's men. A great way to start a three-game weekend. Chris Frank on this near side. Plays it in. Hands in front of Chevrolet looking for Matt Keith there to sweep it away. Back in again from Frank. Chevrolet gets a, an arm to it. Goes wide, Scott Arson over the far side. Chris Frank sends it back there. It's a backhanded to Trim. Good turning from Trim. Gets himself a bit of space from Sean Ringrose. Chris Frank can't quite control it. Chris Blight takes advantage. Blight tries one. Jones. But Swindlehurst with a follow up. Dundee Stars have scored. I think in football terms, that's against the run of play. Yeah, absolutely. We they're controlling the play. Uh, they got, it takes an unfortunate bounce off Chris Frank's skate, and uh, Blight takes a shot from distance that Jonesy can't handle, and Swindlehurst does a good job driving the net and pointing it back upstairs. But I, I know we won't be too worried. Finna won't be too worried here. Yeah. D moving forward, Sam McCluskey sends it along the boards. Looking for Ringrose on the far side. Ringrose has it. It's Caught under his feet. And once again, eating up those seconds. That was Lee Salters. Blasting it up the ice. Fusky in possession now. Dundee with a five on four. A minute to go of their power play. The first of the game. Troy Dolan over the far side. Sean Ring goes in there as well, but now Klein on the break. Derek Rail and Neil Trim, it's a two on two. Trim for Rail! Derek Rail! Equalises for Brayhead, short handed! And the clan are back in the game, but hey! Excellently went two on one there, Craig. Um, Derek Rail, give it to Neil Trim. Because that's the guy you want on a two on one with a patience and a great, great pass back door. And a great tip again by Derek Rail. A wonderful finish from Derek Rail. Good assist from Neil Trim as well. And the clan are level. Still short handed for 44 seconds. But that's a good start to the second period. Dundee in possession of the puck now. Sam McCluskey plays it behind his own goal. Good pass. Upside. Now Brayhead on the break now. Pitt down the right side. Pitt coming in the inside. Chevrolet kind of fumbled it, eventually covered. Great little move there by Scott Pitt. Took it underneath the defenseman's stick and then trying to go far side, top corner, but unfortunately... Scott Pitt's been a real revelation to this team this year. What are his best qualities about and what he does for the team? I can't say enough about Scott Pitt. He uh, comes to work every single day. He's, personally, I think he's the most gifted player I've ever played with. He's fast, he's got, he can shoot, he's got hands, he can he can pass the puck, and he's got pretty much every day I mentioned to him. He's, he's, he's strong on his stick, so he can win all his battles in the corners. It's, I know, and also, he's a really, really nice guy. He's, you wouldn't you wouldn't notice him in a crowded room, I'll tell you that, because he would he'll be in the corner and he'd uh, he'd probably be saying sorry for scoring on you. <laughs> and I know he apologizes to Joe a few times for scoring on him. 
Tom McCluskey goes into the penalty box. Dundee will be a man down for a couple of minutes. Davis. It's three on three here for Brayhead Clan. Zach Sullivan. Chevrolet makes a save. Up in there, Smith. Looked as though he may have been impeded. He's in trouble now. Brad Plumpton goes to confront him. Plumpton laying a couple of gloves on Jeff Smith. But Smith goes to the penalty box. Plumpton's going as well. Certainly looked as though Smith was impeded by Chevrolet right before Plumpton got involved, Matt. Uh, yeah. I think he was trying to get the puck from the end of the goal line, trying to stuff it in, but I think Plumpton uh, got a high stick. He seems to be showing the referees bleeding, trying to get the extra, extra two minutes there. Joining me in the commentary box again is and Matt Come on, Bray Head, let's hear it for your home side, the Bray Head. Another five minutes second period. Just in that one. 30 to 6 overall. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that we've been the dominant team. Uh, we just got to start converting these to goals, and there's no better way to do it than uh, on this power play right now. Carson goes close there. Chevrolet had it covered at his near post. During that period break, it was confirmed that Hull losing 3 2 to Cardiff Devils means that Coventry Blaze will now play, play Brayhead Clan in the Challenge Cup quarter final as well. Just while we hear Matt, Coventry in the quarter final, that's going to be a tough one, won't it? Yeah, Coventry are a good team. Um, uh, we've had three or four pretty pretty close matchups with them this year, so yeah, it should be good over two legs. Should we look forward to it? Hopefully, I'll be playing by then, or if not, hopefully. Yeah. It's a goal from Brayhead Clan. Lee Salters squeezes it in at the far post. Almost stopped him as he came away from the net, but there we have it. 52 seconds into the third period. Lee Salters makes it 2 1. Yeah, Lee Salters doing what he does best there. Putting into the net with that big body and using that big reach and sliding the puck home. Plumpton oh, oh. is all the way back. Dundee trying to find an opening. Chris Blight sends it into the middle. Scott Pitt comes away with it into neutralise into Dundee territory. Trim for Rail hits the post. Terrific shot from Derek Rail, close to being a second of the game. Denied by the near side post. Yeah, he's getting closer. I know he's been he's been he's been looking like he's been eyeing that slap shot up all night, so one more I think he's got his range now. It's proved to be a decisive one, but still a lot to do in this last minute and 14. Chevrolet looks to the bench, is he to be pulled? Matt Keith. Has to shrug off Sean Ringrose. Meyer, Keith in there with Ring Rose again. Dundee not yet able to pull the goalie. Grim shot. Here he goes, here he goes. This plate, Chevrolet's now pulled. Can Clan get the killer third goal and take the points? Meyer, he's blocked off, Plumpton. Dundee now six on five. Throwing everything now at it, still only a goal behind. It would be a huge point for Dundee if they were to get anything, but time is running out on them. Twelve point two seconds. And two, stars one. Face off in the Dundee zone. Up drops. Pitt has it. Fitzgerald. Plan have to go back the way. Five seconds left. Three, two, up 2.3. Game stops again. That looks to be about it. Uh, good little gritty win there again. Uh, wasn't pretty, but again, we got the two points and got the job done. There we 
No, it's all over. It's a slender win, but it's four points out of four so far this weekend. Greyhead Clan beat Dundee Stars. Matt, your views on the performance overall? Uh, good performance. Uh, I think we take a lot of positives out of it. Uh, we control the game, we control a lot of the game. And, uh, we'd, we'd like to score a few more, obviously. Uh, get, get some more bodies in front of that net, but again, their goalie play well. Uh, the main thing, we got two points and we're uh, looking for a six point weekend now. Matt Hayward, thank you very much. It's end the tier at Brayhead Arena. It's another two points for Brayhead Clan, who remain top of the league. Brayhead Clan two, and these stars one. Clan coach Ryan Finnerty with me now, Ryan. 2 1 win in the end. Was that closer than it needed to be? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, when you, you look at the uh, you look at the stat sheet, and it's you know, by our count, it was 42 to 10. You wouldn't think you'd uh, you'd be looking at a 2-1 score, and and that happens. You know, sometimes when a, a team comes in, they're obviously short bench, and, and they just absorbed absorbed a lot of pressure, kept us to the outside. Um, you know, those are those are dangerous games to play, and you know, we had a few bounces on us that, you know, they got a breakaway out of one, and it, it was. Uh, it was a frustrating game for, for from my standpoint and from the player's standpoint. I mean, you you press and press and press, and, you, and you're not getting any you're not getting any bounces, any luck, and, and they come down and flick one on net, and it takes a lucky bounce and goes in. And so it was, uh, you know, I've been a part of them on the other on the other foot when we've been shorthanded and, and have done that to teams and have, and squeaked wins out. So it's always in the back of your mind that these are the kind of games that can quickly turn on you. But I'm glad we scraped out a, uh, a win. Dundee Stars coach Jeff Hutchins with me now. Jeff, a disappointing result tonight. What can you take from it? Well, we had 12 guys, so I mean, I think to hold the team to, you know, two one, two one scoreline is, is pretty is pretty good. Um, you know, we didn't uh, we had a tough game on uh, on the 30th against Belfast where where we were short bodied again. So, you know, being down four imports is going to be a tough ask uh, no matter who who, who we play. Um, but uh, I think we had opportunities and, and, you know, the difference was on the power play and the penalty kill tonight. Lee Salters, man of the match tonight. How does it feel to get the winning goal? Uh, it always feels good to uh, come away with a win and uh, it's always that good feeling when you come away with the winning goal as well. So it's, uh, it was a tough game, you know, obviously we got a lot of shots on net, but, uh, you know, it was a little closer than what we thought it would be. It was one of those games, where, did, it, did it get quite nervy towards the end of the third period where it felt as though that that one goal lead, despite being dominant, there was always that chance Dundee could fight their way back? Absolutely, I think any time you run into a hot goalie like they had tonight, uh, you know, we, I felt like we dominated in the offensive zone quite a bit. So, uh, you know, anything can happen, right? A bounce here, a bounce there, and it could go, easy, uh, go, could go the other way. So, uh, you know, although we didn't get that one uh, extra cushion on the, on the goal, but, uh, you know, it worked out today.